Hey folks, how you doing? It's about 2.05 in the afternoon. I haven't been out of the room really since my encounter. Um, I'm tired. I've texted the uh, landlord several times from what I've seen and from what I've witnessed from the security camera. They have another homeless person in that they're, they've, I kind of suspected, but they're trafficking uh, homeless people again. So that means what they were doing in the past, they're doing the, now again, at least from what I could see. They left with some homeless, very homeless looking older, And they're out there just yelling. I can't tell if they're family yelling or if they're yelling, yelling in argument. So they left and then they came back all after almost almost an hour with a whole bunch of groceries. So, and that's what she was doing during the lockdown. You know, over the course of like a, a week or so, during the first part of the month, she would get homeless people and she would have them stay, go buy groceries or whatever party favors and then start an argument, kick them out and keep their groceries and or property too. I had texted my boss this morning. He's very understanding. Thank God for that, really. But this was unexpected. And I texted and I gave all the information to my coordinator person and the landlord and I've still yet to hear from anybody on any end about anything. And it's now you know, two oh eight in the afternoon and this was it in the morning with the link to the video to what was transpiring this morning. And that the police yeah, the police said, Well, it's up to the landlord, only the landlord can remove the people. We can't do anything. All we can do is probably tell them to quiet down, but that may aggravate the situation. I said, yeah, forget it then. So, here I sit, quietly as can be, barring any other threats or whatever at my door. They've been drinking. He was definitely tweaking because what set him off this morning was that my one housemate, he leaves for work very early in the morning and he rides his bicycle when it's working. And after almost an hour, I, he came, I thought he came back and I heard some tinkling because sometimes he has to come back and work on his bike in order to get to work so he can get to work. Because the buses are not running at that time of the morning. And it kept going on and it was just right in front of my door. And I'm like, what the hell? So I was going to check and see if it was him. And no, it was her son tweaking in the dark. Took my nightlight apart and was messing with it. I go, what the fuck you doing? He said, fuck you, bitch. Get back into your room, nigga. And... After that, that was it. I called the police and then I started recording. And then what happened next up until the police arrived and
this is why this kind of transitional housing is just a failure. It's not working. Like I said, I've yet to hear anything from the landlord or Union Station Homeless Services. So, it's a civil matter is what the police said. And it's up to the landlord. Hopefully it quiets down because I got to go to work tomorrow. I hope I can. I am an I am a wreck. And yes, I hate to say it, alcohol would would be nullifying for about maybe four or five minutes. But no it it did cross my mind, but the fear is what keeps me in here. Because I don't want to interact with them. And that's stupid. Or a saving grace. Saving. All right, my friends. That's about it right now. That's where everything is right now. So I'll post this up. Thank you for... Uh, you're concerned. It's... Just one of those things, I guess. Though I do know others are going through worse than I am. Hard to believe. But it's a reality. I know that. It just seems like I'm the can that's getting kicked around. I'm still trying to walk all dented and fucked up. I'm still trying to walk around. Love you all.